I'm Stephanie and let's talk books. So today we are going to be talking about number lines. What are they? What can they tell you and how to read them? So a number line is going to be located on the copyright page of your book and is going to give you a lot of information about when the book is printed and gives you some insight into how valuable your book might be. So let's go ahead and take a look at this copy of Starsight. And you can see here we flip to the copyright page and the number line tends to be down towards the bottom, usually near the ISBN numbers. You can see that this number line starts at 10 and goes all the way down to number one. So you're going to look for the lowest non-zero number in your number line. Some of them do start with a zero here instead of a 10, depending on the printer. But you can see the first non-zero number here is a number one, which means it's a first printing. And down here, you also can see that this is a first edition. And the first printing, first edition, is generally the most valuable edition of a book. And then of course, if you have a special something else, like a signature or a number or letter in your particular copy, that can also add to the value. So for comparison, we're gonna take a peek in here at this Skyward. As you can see, again, we have the ISBN, the number line. It is still a first edition, but the number line only goes down to four, which means this is a fourth printing. So every time the publisher orders a new printing of the book, they remove one of the numbers from the number line. That's how they determine which books were printed together. So the differences between printings can be very minor. There could be no change except for the number line. Sometimes they will change small things like the price on the back of the book or perhaps a cover quote or something. If there is a larger change, they may switch to a second edition. And if there is a very large change, they will actually change the ISBN number. So those are all things to consider when you're trying to determine some really basic information about your book. So here's an example of a number line that starts with zero. Again, you're going to look for the smallest non-zero number. We can see that this is a fourth printing and it's got first edition. In this case, because it's a paperback, um, that's when the the book was first published and then the mass market edition which th this one was first published in may of 2009. so you might be wondering what happens if they reach more than 10 printings of the book and they're gonna start the number line over this one you can see is not one to ten we have uh, all the way up to number 20 and this one the numbers are ordered a little bit differently uh, this is a UK edition. Again, depending on the publisher and the printer, the number lines are going to look a little bit different, but the way you read them is exactly the same. You're going to look for the smallest non-zero number, and this case is 12. This is a 12th printing of this version of Warbreaker. You might also occasionally come across a book that does not have a number line. You can see here we have the ISBN, but there's no number line anywhere on this page. If you find a book that doesn't have a number line, that is a big tip off that you might have a book club edition because those don't have number lines. There are occasionally other like very small niche book projects that may come out that don't have a number line, but the book club books are definitely the most common. And book club books uh, tend to be significantly less valuable than a uh, first first printing of the regular uh, hardcover edition. So if you see a page like this, just know that you're probably getting a book club book. 
Well, that's it for your basic introduction to number lines and some of the most common things you'll see with number lines. You may occasionally run into um, a number line that looks a little bit different, but this will get you through a lot of your collection. Thanks for watching. So today we are going to talk about autumn birds are long. <laughs>